I was just thinking, <clears throat> pardon me. And when I was about that life, anything goes, no rules, do what's necessary to achieve what I desire. Life was a lot easier. You know? I had no complaints, I had no worries, I had nobody. Only thing I had to worry about was getting locked up. Only time I had to look over my shoulder when I was mainly in an uncomfortable spot. I mean, I always was looking over my shoulder, but honestly, looking over your shoulder kind of easier than this. It's a sense of security that may be false sense of security that you might have your own life in your hands when you got your gun. You know, sense of security that you have a fighting chance even if you got your gun. How, how true or false it is, it depends. Whatever gonna happen to you, gonna happen to you because it's supposed to happen to you for the most part. Or you can force stuff to happen to you. I mean, things happen to you. You know what I mean? But we seem to have a sense of security that working for yourself or somebody else could actually help you secure a spot in a retirement villa somewhere or on a boat. And most people it's not reality it's so far from reality for most people man if you ain't getting more i'm gonna say 60 if you ain't getting more than 60k a year that reality that you hold so neat and dear to yourself man it's just a facade um 401k don't support you not like you think they do your retirement plan only back you up for 10 years you know social security um, you can work for 60 years, man. You're only going to get paid for 10. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a whole 50 years. If you work till 80, because you start working at 75, you start working at 14, 15. 60 years of work, yeah. You're still only responsible for 10 years. So what you do with your last 10 years, that's what's going to matter. So, in a sense, man, we all think we're going to get something we not. And then it's subject to change. And I'm 32, so in 30 years, <laughs> retirement not going to be the same. In 10 years, retirement, retirement's changing right now. Um, so people can say whatever they desire to say. At the end of the day, yo, it kind of is what it is, isn't it? We all think it's one thing when it's actually something that we don't even understand that's in progress. Some people just get lucky, some people already know. All I know is that if you want to make it, yo, you got to grind, you got to hustle. You got to do what's in your heart, yo. Go after what you desire. Do it smart, man. Have a plan about it. Work your way in it. Work it into your situation. Make it your biggest situation. Slowly but surely, let that be your desire. Let, they, let your desire conquer your, your right now. But it's like taking over somebody's land or territory. You gotta slowly take that. You can't just run it, like, unless you got this stuff already. Like, some people born with it. Some people already got the army. You know what I'm saying? Some people already got a big enough army to conquer the world. You know, they've just been sitting on it. Or they've been building it. But at none of these, some people inherit it. If you ain't got nothing but a couple people on your side, you can't take nothing on. Only thing you can actually do is sit back and wait and infiltrate and build and do what you need to do undercover, covertly. Because everybody ain't after what you after. Don't nobody want what you want unless what you want is what they want. So, you align yourself with a line meant same arrangement as your tires are spinning. <laughs> Y'all go to the same place. But if you only go to the same place, man, you each other, you know what I mean? Everything is usury. It's just a common creative goal of the usury. We can all find a reason to deal with each other. You know what I mean? And better each other also. We can all help each other get to our goals, but most of our goals will probably change. But enough said, you feel me?